um, this. Oh, with the eye. He's coming, the teacher. Okay, oh, see you. Teacher. See you. What happened? Hello. Teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. How was your weekend? Uh, my weekend was uh, really good because I was um, working at the platform and resting a lot. Okay. You don't work on the weekends? Um, repeat me, please. On, on the weekends, you don't work? Only Saturday, uh, only Saturday, but uh, until the, mid. Uh, until noon. Uh, until until noon. Yes. Okay, so you only work in the, in the mornings. Only uh, yes, only work in the morning. Yes. All right, good, good for you. Nice. What about you, Sandra? How was your weekend? Oh, my weekend was very busy. You know, <laughs> yeah. because it was fifteen. And I had to pay payrolls and I had to go to the bank. And then in the afternoon, I went to to teach uh, to, to the Bible, biblical school at, at church. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it was very busy for me. <laughs> and uh, I, I haven't been able to work at the platform because there were shutdowns here and the internet, internet service was out. And well, in today in the morning, <laughs> I received a message from them from from English uh, uh, Corporativo, you know. Yes. They were claiming, oh, but in that very moment, my internet was uh, reestablished, you know. So I began working. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. So you you teach Bible? Yes, of course, Bible. Okay, that's Bible. good. Mm -hmm. all right nice okay hello class welcome everybody i hope you had a great weekend hello teacher thank you hello good evening hello good evening teacher good evening everybody hi good evening hi daniela hi guys hi hello. Uh, hi good evening. good evening and carlos are i'm sorry i don't remember you are you new no, I was the last week, but I ha I haven't the, the I hadn't the camera open. Okay, I didn't have the camera. I didn't open. have. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. Let me see. Let's share the. All right. Do you see my screen? Yes. Did yes. You? Yes. All right. Yes. Let's watch this video. This is going to be of have and been. Yes. Have and been. Remember, we, we did this, haven't been, you should have been. When do we use you should have been? Should have. Hold on. We did this video, but let's just review Hi. real quick. To wrap up this session, we want you to work on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice. Notice how have and been are reduced in these sentences. Oh. I should have been less selfish when I was younger. If I'd been more ambitious, I could have gotten a promotion. You may complete these sentences and practice them in class. Pay attention to the reduced form of have and been. Okay, this is what I told you last week. Remember, I don't really recommend you to use that pronunciation yet. Mm -hmm. Yes because um, I, I prefer you to actually say the formal, the formal pronunciation. Yes, right. And then, yes. And let me give you an example. Imagine you are, um, imagine, let me see, Blanca Natalia de la Trinidad Montserrat, right? Yes, Montes. Montes, Montes, Montes. 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 Uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. Ima imagine you are a Spanish teacher. Okay. And your student mm -hmm. asks you, 
Professora Blanca, why or what is the difference between vos, tú y usted? I hear people say tú, I hear people say vos, and I hear people say usted. What is mm -hmm. the difference? Remember, you're a teacher. I am a teacher, yes. And I have to understand your explanation. In Spanish or in English? Uh, tell me in English. Oh, okay. Uh, tú, you use when you are talking with a, a familiar person. Uh, usted, you use when the the person or the the person mm -hmm. uh, you are talking with uh, you don't know very well that person so you say you say usted and both you use to communicate with uh, the, this person when when you are really really familiar with that, with, with, with she or, or, or he. Maybe he is your brother or your close friend. I, so so with my brother, I say usted. <laughs> or vos, or tú. Vos, you will say vos. Vos, because, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And tú? Tú? Uh, ah, it's difficult. Uh, mm -hmm. You use to when when you use um, ah when cuando cuando está hablando eh, eh, cuando 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 tú cuando estás refiriéndote a una when when you are referring to 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 another person in a sentence, you use to, but you are referring to to the person you have in front uh, in a sentence. You use okay. to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Thank you. Janeth Yanira Rodriguez Andres. Andres with a J? Yeah. Okay. Are you married? No, teacher. <laughs> Um, do you have a boyfriend? No, teacher. <laughs> do you do you live with your parents? Sorry, teacher. Do you live with your parents? No, teacher. Oh man, do you have, wow. do you have children? <laughs> Sorry. Do you have children? I have, yes, I have a daughter. Okay, very good. How old is your daughter? My daughter is um, 11 years old. Okay, and she tells you vos or tú? O usted? Uh, I usually talk to him and... No, your like, daughter Your daughter to you, not you to your daughter. Uh, How does two. your daughter treat you? She treats like you too. Two. All right. Yeah. Okay. Does anybody here use usted for somebody? Me. For who? Me. For my mother and my father. Mm -hmm. Okay. And for you my love. Yeah. Yeah. You see, that's kind of difficult. It's very difficult to explain that question and send to a English speaker because in English it's only you. Yeah, teacher. Uh, in my case, uh, for example, in, at the work, I use uh, usted with my bus. I use tú with the uh, my coworkers go from similar age and use voice with people is younger than me. Oh, okay. Younger than I. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's okay. Younger than I. You know, okay, this is how I would explain. Vos y tú is the same thing. The only thing we use voice in Central America and Argentina. Uh, Vos we use only in Central America, Argentina, and maybe some countries of South America. And the rest of the people use two. 
but tú y vos is the same. Now, usted is different. But some people say usted is for respect, vos is for somebody, uh, a close friend, et cetera, et cetera. It's very difficult. So usted is universal. So that means anywhere you go that people speak Spanish. For example, in Mexico, they don't use vos. In Mexico, they use tú and usted. In El Salvador, we use vos and usted. In Nicaragua, vos and usted. In Argentina, vos and usted. But um, in Colombia, tú and usted. So if you notice, all those countries use usted because usted is, is universal. Teacher, so, in, in Argentina, sorry, yes. in Argentina, they say boss to everybody. Yes. Yes, they don't use usted. No, they say boss and usted. Really? I yes. have heard boss. <laughs> no, no, but usted is always going to use in every country that speaks Spanish. Oh, because okay. usted is the universal way of speaking. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So what I would recommend to my student and the reason why I'm telling you this is because it's what I recommend to you when you speak short, you know, what I recommend to my student is, you know what, don't use vos and, and tú, use usted. But why? Right. Just use usted. And after, after you start living in El Salvador a long time, you will, you will discover eventually, ah, okay, now I understand vos. Mm -hmm. But if you say usted, in, in if you say usted in Chile, in Spain, in Mexico, in Costa Rica, and everybody will understand you, usted. But if you say vos in Mexico, they will understand you, but they'll look at you strange, like. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's why I always tell people just speak the formal way first, because yeah. the second one is a culture shock. Tú and vos has to do a lot with culture. Yes. Porque hay gente que dice, no, es que usted es para alguien para respeto. Y tú es alguien como sea, de confianza. Sí, pero entonces, I respect my parents. Pero ¿por qué le digo tú? Entonces, no le digo usted. Y empieza la controversia. Like, okay, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, it's a culture thing. So, you know, I, so I tell my student, you know what? Just say usted. Say usted to a little girl or to a big, you know, just say usted. And then with practice, you will automatically see, ah, now I understand vos. Now I understand tú. So that's the same thing. That's why I recommend you here in the pronunciation. If I've been, if I've been, I'd rather, I'd rather you say if I have been. If I have been. So I recommend you to always, when you learn something new, always use the basic. Very good. Yeah. Es como cuando alguien maneja. Le enseña, bueno, standard. Remember standard? Can you drive standard, somebody? Yeah. Yes. 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 Remember when yes. you learn, yes. when you learn. The, when you start learning that, the first time is difficult, and you do the, you do the basic, you know, primera, segunda, tercera, cuarta. <laughs> yes, yeah, but I'm not going to teach you how to vaya compresionar o te voy a enseñar cómo encenderlo mm -hmm. en segunda. No, you can't do that yet. First, you need to learn how to use the standard, and then remember when you start the car in segunda. Yes. Después me di cuenta que en cualquiera se puede, se puede encender. Yes. <laughs> but me, for many, many years, I only did it in second. And then, and then I realized you could do it in anything, in third, and fourth. I like standard. But there are no more. Yeah, me too. Yes. But with the traffic in El Salvador today, no. Nah. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, let me see. Oh, wait, let's do that listening.
teacher, but uh, in these days, uh, all the the boys and girls wants to say boss to 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 all to people. Every, to everybody, yes. Yes. Yes, but a vos that, te dicen tal cosa, a vos te dicen tal otra. ¿Qué es eso? Yes, that's what I'm telling you, Sam, a culture shock. Mm -hmm. the, and that's very difficult to... Um, there is a part in English when you are very, very, very advanced mm -hmm. that you start you start learning culture things, you know. Mm -hmm. It's similar in Spanish. When you teach Spanish, you, you're not going to teach your student the first class. Ella es decirle vos y aquella tú y aquel usted, you know. <laughs> Especially, like you said, kids today, they don't say vos anymore. They don't say usted anymore. They say vos to everybody. Mm -hmm. Let's listen to this. It says, listen to the people describe their regrets. Choose the regret for each person. Page 76. Can you hear? Exercise yes. 11. Okay. Yes. Listening. Yes. Regrets. Part A. Listen to people describe their regrets. Complete the chart. 1. Barbara. I always regret that I didn't take typing in high school. I was stupid, really. Once I got to college, I discovered I had to type all my assignments, and I sort of taught myself how to do it. But I can't type half as well as friends of mine who took it in high school. It takes me twice as long to type anything as it takes them. 2. Alex I should never have stopped exercising. It's the dumbest thing I've ever done. I've been trying to lose weight for the last year and a half, and it's really difficult. I guess I was just like everyone else at my age. I thought I would be thin forever, and I ate junk food all the time. It was okay then because I was playing tennis, hockey, and soccer. Then, after college, I got busy and quit playing sports. But now I'm determined to join a gym because I know I can't get healthy by just dieting. Besides, I love potato chips. 3. Yishan If I'd had a choice, I would have learned to play the guitar when I was a kid. My parents made me study the piano, and I only studied classical music. I love the piano, but it's not very practical. I mean, you can't take a piano with you to a party. But I love it at a party when someone brings a guitar, and they can play songs, and everyone sings along. I wish I could do that. Page 76, Exercise 11, Part B. Listen again. What effect have the regrets had on each person's life? 1. Barbara. I always regret that I didn't take typing in high school. I was stupid, really. Once I got to college, I discovered I had to type all my assignments, and I sort of taught myself how to do it. But I can't type half as well as friends of mine who took it in high school. It takes me twice as long to type anything as it takes them. 2. Alex I should never have stopped exercising. It's the dumbest thing I've ever done. I've been trying to lose weight for the last year and a half and it's really difficult. I guess I was just like everyone else at my age. I thought I would be thin forever, and I ate junk food all the time. It was okay then because I was playing tennis, hockey, and soccer. Then, after college, I got busy and quit playing sports. But now I'm determined to join a gym because I know I can't get healthy by just dieting. Besides, I love potato chips. 3. Yishan If I'd had a choice, I would have learned to play the guitar when I was a kid. My parents made me study the piano, and I only studied classical music. I love the piano, but it's not very practical. I mean, you can't take a piano with you to a party. But I love it at a party when someone brings a guitar, and they can play songs, and everyone sings along. I wish I could do that. The program continues on the next CD. Okay, so 
What is Barbara's regret? She didn't take taking classes. Taping classes in the high school. Yes. Um, who is the youngest person we have here? Wendy, I am the oldest. You? <laughs> You're the oldest. Okay. Well, maybe. let me see. <laughs> maybe. Let's see. Who's the youngest? Jacqueline, how old are you? Uh, I'm 24. Teacher. Okay, she's 24. Okay, there we go. We go. You. Is somebody here younger than 24? I don't think so. All right, Jacqueline, do you know what is typing classes? Excuse me, teacher. Do you know what is typing classes? I don't understand your question, teacher. Do you see Barbara's regret? She didn't take typing classes. Do you know what that is? Oh, yes. Yes, teacher. Did you ever take that? No, teacher. Okay. Remember, there was a subject in school, calligraphia, typing? Yes, teacher. Mechanografia. 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 It was with a typing typewriter, remember? Yes. yes. All right. <clears throat> Number two, what is Alex regret? Alex, stop exercising. Stop exercising. Stop exercising. 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 Okay, number three, what is Yishun's regret? Uh, that yes, she didn't learn, learn, to, play learn to play the guitar as a kid. As a kid. All right. Yep, we did it. All right, good. Let's start see, uh, lesson two, week two. Next. Okay, intro video section for lesson two. Let's see what we're going to see in this lesson. Ready for our next intro video? Watch it and take notes. Hi, this is Jacob with Campus TV. Today we're at Choice Cafe on University Drive. I'm talking to the owner, Lily Chen. Choice Cafe opened two years ago. Since then, students have been lining up for coffee and food. Why is Choice Cafe so successful? Let's find out. Thank you for agreeing to speak with me today. Choice Cafe is popular on campus. Yes, the cafe is doing very well. What's the secret to your success? I've been very lucky. And I have great customers but it is hard. I think there are several reasons we do so well. We're popular because of our location, of course. For a cafe to succeed, it can't be off the beaten path. It needs to be where people can find it. You don't have to walk far. It's convenient, <laughs> right next to campus. But that can't be the only reason. After all, Central Cafe closed last year and it was just one block away from campus. Did Choice put Central Cafe out of business? Yes and no. We were definitely in competition with each other, but Central Cafe didn't have comfortable seats. In order for a cafe to attract customers, it should have comfortable chairs. Our cafe is famous for its cozy atmosphere. Look at those chairs. People can come here to relax, drink their tea or coffee, and study or read. Do you encourage people to stay a long time? I absolutely do encourage people to stay. I think that's the reason why they keep coming back. They can read, do homework, meet their friends. And during this time, they drink two or three cups of coffee and have a pastry. What about the food? Our food is made here, fresh every morning. We have a strong takeout business. People order food to take home or to eat outside. Outside? You mean on the grass, on campus? Anywhere. We do have tables outside too, but people do eat on campus. It's really pretty there. But it's nice to sit inside, too. The atmosphere is great here. Talk about that for a minute. The lights, the music? Music is key to a cafe success. You need to make sure you have good music. I'm not an expert. I mean, I don't know much about music. But people who work here are students. They're tuned in. They know what's popular. So I let them choose the music. And people like it. Yes. And since I want to encourage people to meet their friends here, chat, read, so on, I make sure the music's not too loud. 
I mean, we can hear each other just fine, right? Right. Well, Lily, thank you. I've really enjoyed learning more about what makes Choice a successful cafe. You're welcome, Jacob. Come anytime. For Campus TV, this is Jacob signing off. This, this culture, you can see it in El Salvador now, right? You see cafes that people go there, young kids. Unfortunately, they do not go there to read. They go there to chat or to watch their cell phones. Yes. But I remember, I remember a long time ago where I used to work. Sometimes I had hours between and there was a coffee cup. So I always went there to drink yeah. coffee and read a book. It was very relaxing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, nowadays, uh, for the pandemic, many people go to uh, maybe Starbucks uh, to work. Mm -hmm. It's true. Okay, let me see. By the end of this of this lesson, participants will understand how to use infinitive clauses to describe a purpose. Let's see this. Let's see the video then. Hi. For you to be fluent in English, you need to keep up with all the lessons. So stay and learn how to describe purpose using infinitive clauses. Describing purpose, infinitive clauses. To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have late opening hours. To establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. In order to establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. Infinitive clauses with four. For an athletic center to be profitable, it needs to have modern exercise equipment. For a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. In order for a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. To describe purpose, we may do so by using different types of infinitive clauses. We may use the infinitive clause to plus verb. For example, to succeed in business, you have to. Notice we began our sentence using to, followed by the verb succeed. Or we may use in order plus infinitive. Example, in order to succeed in business, you have to. We may add in order, but it's optional. If we omit it, the structure stays the same. The other way to describe purpose is by using infinitive clause with for. For plus noun plus infinitive. For a business to succeed, it has to. Or in order plus for plus noun plus infinitive. In order for a business to succeed, it has to. Again, we may use in order, but it is optional. The structure stays the same if we omit it. Okay, let's do one thing. Ready? Look at the picture of a coffee shop. Hmm. Let me start with Patricia, just to give you an example. Patricia, you're a doctor, correct? Yes, teacher. So imagine my son wants to be a doctor. Okay. So what, what do you tell him? Okay, look, little David, to be a doctor, you need to study 10 years, correct? Eight years. Okay, minimum. Minimum, yeah. Okay, so you saw a transaction? To become a doctor, you need to study at least eight years. Yes. Yes. Jim. Okay. All right. So that is that is infinitive. To become a doctor. And then the second part gives the reason. All right. Uh, Janet, I'm sorry, I forget. Where do you work? I'm a secretary. A secretary. Oh, yeah, in a law firm, correct? Yeah. And it's in San Salvador, correct? Yes. It is. Is it in a in a building or uh, in a special office? It's in a building. Okay. 
So to go, do you need do you need like a badge or something to go in the office? No. Yes, I used a badge. Okay, so tell me that to go into the office. To go into the the office, I need to wear my badge to mm -hmm. access to the the office area. Very good. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So to go in to go inside the office, I need to access my badge. Yeah. All right. Hey, this is this is an interesting question. Listen, Rafael. Hello. Hi. I'm I'm very interested about the process of baking a chicken. Okay. Because you work in Pollo Real, right? Yes. So right. before, like to bake a chicken, what do you need to do to the chicken? Bake uh... is you bake, right? Yes. Okay, or broil. Mm, broil with yes. With food. Okay, you broil the chicken. Okay. Yes. To bro to bro do you know the difference between bake and broil? Yes, I know. Okay, hold on, Rafael. Do you guys know the difference between bake and broil? I don't know, teacher. You don't know? Okay, very good. Rafael, explain to Miguel the difference. I'm sorry, tienen un, un tienen un, un, un horno en su casa, ¿verdad? Algunos? Yes. Yes. Nunca, yes. Nunca has visto la perilla que dice bake y broil. Yes. Yes. It's kind of the similar, but it's a little different. Let's Rafael explain. When you cook in oven, you um, bake. You bake, right? But when you cook in, uh, I don't know, what is the name? In the grill? The grill, yes, the grill. You broil. Okay. It's hornear y rostizar in Spanish. I am correct or I'm right. confused? No. No, yeah, right. yes. Yes, but grill. That's also barbecue, no? I don't know. It's two. Yes. Yes. It's oh. a barbecue. Or no, I, I think broil, broil. Yeah, rust. What is rusty sad anyway? Is it like rust, 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 yeah, rust, think... rust, I think bake, I think bake is with heat, con calefacción, right? Bake. And roast. Like a, like a, like a bread. Yeah, like, like bread. bread. And roast is similar, but with fire. Right. Okay. I think so. Have you seen like the tacos when they're turning? Oh yeah, the spinning when it is spinning yeah. the pork. And it's and it's on fire, right? So I th yeah. bro that's broil. Okay, so what is the process to broil uh, a chicken? Oh. I'm sorry, I have a bad internet. Oh, you have bad internet? Okay, no problem. Would you repeat me, please? To broil a chicken in in Pollo Real, what is the process? What do you have to do? Yes, I, I think you have bad internet, Rafael. Can you hear me? Give us a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a secret, yes. <laughs> that was my idea, Patty. <laughs> Patricia. <laughs> that was my objective. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but don't worry, Rafael. I understand that you don't have internet. <laughs> No, it's okay. No, because remember, to broil a chicken, I imagine you you have to prepare the chicken with spices first, and then put it to broil. Yes. Twenty four hours before you have to to um, wash the chicken with lemon, and then uh, you have to put. Uh, a secret sauce 
<laughs> secret sauce, okay. And spices. Yeah, uh, and spices. <laughs> and spices. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. The question yeah. number two. Question number two. Share the recipe. Wait, well. wait, no, wait. Let's do it in grammatically. Let's do it in to make the secret recipe. <laughs> what do we need to do? No, I'm joking. To make the secret recipe. No mentiras. Very good. Yes. Okay. Good. So to broil the chicken, 24 hours. Oh, you have to you have to clean it with lemon and the secret sauce. Right. All right. Cool. Interesting. Rafael Dabud, can you ask somebody in your class, please, using these examples, using an infinitive and the purpose at the end? Like, for example, I asked Patricia to become a doctor. How many years do you need to study? And she says, you need to study minimum eight years completed. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I asked yes. Rafael uh, to make a, to roast a chicken. What do you need to do? So can you give me an example? Can you ask somebody in the class? Okay, let me see. Except Patty and Janet. Yes. Walter, what do you do? Right now, nothing. I quit my job three months ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> are you Are you looking for a job? Uh, yeah, but right now I invest in Bitcoin. Oh, and very I, good. Yeah. You know what? Wait for next year, man. It's almost November. It's, you know, the yeah, Mundial, but, uh, Mundial, and then Christmas. <laughs> Wait for January, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Oh, so that's a good. That's a good thing. L listen, Rafael. He says he invests in Bitcoin. Yes. Is. Um, <clears throat> since in, since when go ahead do it nice try it yes how long uh, let, let me think go ahead when, when did you invest in bitcoin um Actually, um, one years ago, and I tried to invest by Chivo Wallet, but uh, lately I find an app and I study a lot that app and, and I invest right now through the app. Uh, that app give me 70% um, 70 assure that I invest, I return uh, some profit every day. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Which app? Come on, say, say what no, app? No, it's a secret. You it's use. a secret. Oh, it's man. a secret. It's a secret. Oh. <laughs> I sold my idea. Share, share. No, okay. <laughs> no but that's good. That's good. I mean, you see profit yeah. every day. That's very good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for example, that app. Give me around ten or twelve dollars every day. Okay, oh, that's good. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why do you believe in Bitcoin? Uh, I don't believe that uh, one hundred percent because when I use only Chivo Wallet in order to invest, oh. I lost around five hundred dollars. Yeah, when the when the Bitcoin Decrease is so bad for me, but and then um, I continue to investigate about that, and suddenly I found an uh, app led me to invest and return a little bit profit. But that app is crypto money or is Bitcoin? Uh, that app uh, invest invest in several crypto coins. Not only Bitcoin. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That's a good question, Rafael. That, that's why I don't. I don't really, to be honest, I don't really understand that coin. But one thing I am very sure is that it will not disappear, <clears throat> and eventually it will be the future. <laughs> yeah. Because <clears throat> I have an uncle. My uncle. He retired. He retired. 
My uncle right now is like 70. Wow. And he worked in a bank all his life in the United States. And he saw the change from yeah. cash to check, from check to debit card. <laughs> he, he, he saw all those changes. And he tells me, at the beginning, nobody believed in checks because people liked physical money. But, you know, people accepted it. And then nobody liked credit cards or debit cards. Nadie quería. We offered debit cards nobody wanted. They, they only wanted to pay cash or check. <laughs> and now, so imagine, now I have some friends that they never have cash. Everything is like in, in so, and that's what my mm -hmm. uncle tells me. He says, you know, I don't know about Bitcoin, but one thing I do know is that it will not change, it will not disappear. And eventually, someday in the future, everybody will pay like that. Yeah. Good or yeah. bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you making trading? Uh, yeah, but it's so difficult when uh, Bitcoin decreases. Really? Oh my God. But difficult. you know, one thing I hear that when Bitcoin is very down, it's a good opportunity to buy, correct? Yeah, buy. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But you bought when the Bitcoin was um, six, at, the, at the lowest 60, point. 60,000. I, I, I abandoned to work with Bitcoin during two months. Because when I much. tried to find, yeah, because when I tried to find something where when I invest, I feel so sure. Yeah. And this app, for example, let me to return profit. Uh, I don't know how do you say fijo. Picture? Set, 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 set. For example, four percent every day about my invest. Really, investment. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, investment. Yeah. No. Oh. Well, yeah. Very, hey, that was interesting. Thank you. Yeah. You know, I always have I in Chivo wallet, I always have like fifteen dollars or ten yeah. in Bitcoin. <laughs> and you know, mm -hmm. this is how I do it. I, I invested but very, very little, but sometimes I check, it's like ten dollars. Hey, tengo 18. So, <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry. I have like let's say fifty dollars. I think I stay in fifty dollars, and sometimes it goes up ten dollars, and immediately yeah. I go to the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know, yeah i do that you know hey ten ten dollars is ten dollars in the supermarket yeah yeah you know yeah. And, and i pay and then when i get paid i invest fifty dollars again you know it's a six pack <laughs> yes or a tequila <laughs> you know and, I, and i'm always yeah. checking i said hey i tell my wife mira I, it went up twelve dollars <clears throat> so that's when i take advantage and i go to the supermarket not bad. Yeah. All right. Very good. Uh, Walter Ramos, can you ask somebody, how do you, okay. what do you, what do you, where do you? Okay. Saul Romero. Where is Saul? I don't see Saul. Saul Romero. Are you mute, Saul? Hi. Hi, Saul. Oh, there he is. Tell me. Uh, okay. Tell what me. do you do for a living, uh, Saul? I I live in Ilopango. No. How do you do for a living? What, what do, you do? do you do? It's about what do you do? Yeah. What do you do? Where do you work? Yeah. Ah, you work. Uh, uh, ejecutivo de ventas. Sales Where? executive. Yeah, where uh, so? Uh, and for uh, internet, the happy. Oh, the fiber really? optic. Okay. In yeah. order to do a best option to the customer, what do you do? The customer. Yeah. Uh, when you try to 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 sell the service, happy. 
what do you do in order to convince to the customer? Okay, very good. That, that would be the infinitive. What do you yeah. do to convince the customer? Yeah. I, I, I visit, I visit a uh, different uh, person and, and different, um, como, uh, how do you say, cobertura? Coverage. Cover, coverage. Coverage. Um, coverage. Uh, <laughs> Este servicio de Happy no, no, de fibra óptica no es, no está en, 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 en cobertura a nivel, <laughs> en, en nivel nacional. Ah, ok. No, you know, ah. talking about that, on, on the weekend, I saw something very cool by my house. The people from Claro, they're putting the underground cable, the optic cable, subterráneo. The, the, Claro, the, the Claro is, is difficult. Internet uh, is down. Uh, is the Tigo equal? Or it's, it's the same. Saul, I have a question. I have a question. Is it marketing or why happy with a J? I uh, know it's happy is it's fibra optica. No, no, no. No, my, another... no, my question is the name. Uh, the name happy is with a J. Uh, why is it is it no, a marketing no. technique or or yes, happy yes, it's, it's la, it's, it's, it, happy is yes, is uh, is number num is nay is nay the marketing marketing okay en en realidad en, en realidad la, la la empresa se llama IBW telecomunicaciones oh IBW oh yes IBW yeah, I always wonder because you know, happy yeah. is maybe a technique, it's a marketing technique because of happy, H A P P Y. So then they 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 pronounce it like how we pronounce it in Spanish. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Uh, when yes. I try, when I, for example, when when I try when you are a solo person, executive person, uh, I remember I was working at a bank during five six year selling credit cards and loans. And mm -hmm. remember, in order to try to convince the customer, always, always uh, I mentioned about the weeks, about the competition in order to convince. I don't know, I think Saul uh, uh, talk about the weeks of the competition, Tigo, Claro, in order you know, to convince the, 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 the You the know, company. I... I think we will see it in this case this month. Yeah. But the best, the best technique you can use, and this is not only for sales. This Patricia, you can use it with your patients. Blanca, you can use it with your patients. You can anything. The best way mm -hmm. to catch somebody is the way you speak. If you speak mm -hmm. active or passive. Yeah. Do you know what is the difference when you speak active and passive? If I tell you, the cat is going to eat the mouse. Yeah. Correct? You yeah. understand that? Yeah. And yeah. if I say, it's an active voice. And if I say yeah. the mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. Yeah. It's, it's a passive yeah. voice. It's passive. Yeah. Is it the same story? Yeah. What's the difference? The object uh, is the principle. Yeah, in the passive voice. In the passive voice, the no, object is what? Principle. It's the main, yes. The difference is that it's who you want to make important. Yeah. If you want to make the cat important, you speak active. Hey, look, yeah. hey, hey, look, 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 look. The cat is going to eat the mouse. If you want to make the mouse important, then you speak up, uh, passive. Yeah. So I remember when you speak with a client, usually when people speak with clients, you say, this is what I will offer you. I will offer you this and I will offer you this. I will give you this and I will give you that. It's always mm -hmm. I, I, I. So it has to be the <laughs> other way. This is what yeah. you will receive from us. This is what you will get. You, so you change, yeah. and it really works. 
Let me see. Listen, Jacqueline, I remember you are a chef. <laughs> yes? Um, I just sell food, which I am not chef. Well, yes, you are because you, you cook. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. Listen, what are the main ingredients you need to make an omelet? Uh, I need to buy eggs and vegetables, principally. Right. Yes. Very good. Hey, very good. Very basic omelet, yes? Some people say milk. Some people say... Uh, uh, ham. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. Roberto Adonai, where do you live? Where do you live, Roberto? Uh, I live in Lourdes, Colón. In Lourdes, Colón. And, and you work in San Salvador? Yes, I work. Uh, no, not really. I work in the international airport. In the airport? Yes. Oh my God, and you live in Lourdes? Yes. How do you I, get to... I how, travel, I travel all the time. Um, do you take the bus or have a car, motorcycle? Uh, the bus, the private bus. Uh, how do you say, sale desde? What do you mean private bus? Oh, the company bus. The company, yes. Okay, the uh -huh, the company bus. Uh, how do you say sale desde? Takes off. Uh, the, the company bus takes off the Tres Torres. Okay. To to international airport. Oh, okay. Oh, so you take the company bus. Okay. So, what time do you go in in the airport? <laughs> Roberto, what time do you go in? At eight in the morning? Yes, I I go in at six a.m. No, 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 wait. Your check-in time at the airport is at what time? Uh, I I, uh, I entry at eight. At eight, okay. Eight, eight, so eight. here's my infinitive question. What time do you need to leave your house to be in the airport at eight in the morning? To be to be arrived at a.m. at the international airport, you need to go out Lourdes at uh, five o'clock maximum. At five in the morning. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Yes. Maximum. Three hours. And what time do you leave? What time do you finish? At five? Excuse? What time do you finish work? At five? Uh, uh, some days four and some days five. Wow. Six hours of your life traveling. I, I need to arrive at Tres Torres, maximum six o'clock. At six. You need to be there at six in the morning. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Yancy Yvette Mayen Melendez. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. I'm better than ever. <laughs> oh, yeah? Why is that? Yes, I have health. <laughs> you have? Oh, okay. Very good. Yeah, you're healthy. Okay. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nancy. I forgot. Where do you work? I'm uh, work, work um, choosing house, <laughs> wife, wife, house. Housewife. Oh, house yes. Wife. Okay. I remember you're, you're a housewife. Okay. Three years what? ago, I teach, teach, I taught, uh, taught, taught, taught um, in a college. Yes. Enseñaba, I taught, taught. I, I, I used to teach. Yes, I used to teach. Yes. In a college, in a university? No, in a kindergarten. Oh, that's not a college. No, um, a college, school? Private okay. school. Oh, private school. Yes, let me explain one thing, because this is a very common mistake. 
Yes, in El Salvador, we say colegio. Mm -hmm. Colegio, yes. Escuela pública o colegio, right? Eh, private, private, yes, mm -hmm. private. So we say private school or public school only? Uh, private school, yes. College is superior studies. Okay, the university, no. So let me let me give you an example. A dentist is a university. Oh, yeah. A dental assistant is college. Mm. Do you understand? Um, technology is like a technology. The problem, the problem in El Salvador that really doesn't exist. It's only it que es un técnico. Yes. Yeah. But um. In, in, in the United States, that's very big because uh, many people, the majority of people go to college in that university because universities are very expensive. Yes. So uh, so what happens is, it's like, oh, I want to be a dentist, but it's too expensive. So I become a dental assistant. Okay. That's and still, you make good money. You make good money. But in El Salvador, that really doesn't exist. It's only mm. university. It's like high school and university. Si hay técnicos de Litka. But hoy, hoy ya se están saliendo más técnicos, he visto. But remember before it was only like, in, um, I don't know, había técnico de todo, pero hoy ya, ya está saliendo técnico en todo, man. Yes, you need to study only three years. Yes, you need to study, to, to be a technician, you need to study three years. So basically in the United States, to become a dentist, you need to study, I don't know, five, six, seven years in the university. To yeah. be a dental assistant, you need to study um, three yeah. years in college. So that is the difference between private school, public school, and college. Yes. Right. All right, good. Amilcar, are you there? Here's a very simple question for you. To make a Cuba Libre, what do you need? Cuba Libre. Um, I don't understand well the question. I can answer that. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a Cuba Libre, Cuba Libre, it's a drink. <laughs> to make a Cuba Libre, what do you need? to do. There are two basic ingredients. Um, three with ice. Sorry. Oh say. yeah, ice. Okay, ice let me give you equal. let me give you a, a clue. It is the most popular drink of the United States and the most popular drink of Cuba. <clears throat> What is the most popular drink of Cuba, Milker? Mm, really, I don't know the chair, what is the most popular. Aunque no tome licor uh, usted, really, pero, yeah. you know, <laughs> but everybody knows this. Uh, and Cuba yeah. is famous for what drink? The beer? Rum. <laughs> mojito, Rum. right? Mojito, mojito, right? No, but a mojito. More. Mojito is a prepared drink, but the, the, the drink drink is rum. It's rum. Con M, con M, rum. Rum. In English, it's wrong. So it's rum. And what is the most popular drink of, of, of the United States? Coca-Cola. Ah, Coca-Cola. So that is a Cuba Libre. Ah, really? Cuba Libre oh. de España, creo que era la historia. Cuba Libre de España. Ah, okay. Yes. Oh, no, me diga Cuba Libre. This is it's very difficult for me because I don't know nothing about uh, beverage. Yeah. <laughs> so. No, it's okay. It's all right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Patricia, yes, you you said I know, I know. <laughs> but some people, some people put like cilantro. Uh, or... uh, the Cuba Libre uh, use uh, uh, yerba buena. Mint. I think it's mint. Mint. Uh, mint. mint. Mm -hmm. All right, good. 
All right. But Cuba Libre doesn't need mint, only ice, uh, coke, and uh, room. Yes. Um, have you tried the, excuse me, teacher, uh, have you tried, uh, what's the time, the, uh, the pulque? The what? Uh, pulque. The pulque. Pulque. No. It's from it's Mexico. It's it's a beverage in, in Mexico. Uh, Mexico. Mexico, Beverly, yes, yeah. Mexico. Uh, it's pulque. Uh, pulque. <laughs> no, the, what, what is it? What do you need to, what do you need to mix to make pulque? It's in Mexico. Yes, but to make a pulque drink, what do you need to, uh, what ingredients do you need? Uh, really? I, I don't know because uh, when I was in Mexico, uh, they gave me that that kind of beverage, but I don't know what they did. Oh, okay, all right. Miguel Antonio. <laughs> Miguel Antonio, hi. Hi, teacher. Miguel, I remember that you told me you are a Mormon, correct? Yep, I am Mormon. Um, Miguel, to... ¿Cómo se llama when, when you go to another country? A mission. A mission. I will, a mission, yeah. To go to a mission, what do you need to do? Uh, well, I only need is, is a, a, mem a field member and have a, in, in a man's 18 years old and a woman's uh, 19 years old. Okay. Uh, and you can go if you if you have the volunteer you can go and you can go to any country you want uh not that you want uh, it's uh i don't know how do you say uh, a la suerte o al azar randomly okay it's a randomly uh, you doing the solicit uh, solicitude the requ request or the yes it's a request uh, okay you do the request and send the request for a uh, Sagilek city and you receive the uh, the answer what what country Ukraine you, you can go to Ukraine maybe oh yeah. my god the most beautiful women in the world <laughs> I go for uh Costa Rica Salvadorian girls teacher <laughs> yes. Have you seen women from Russia? Oh my God. It's so beautiful, right? <laughs> yes, I'm very I'm so nuestro. yes. <laughs> But Miguel, one question. If if you go if you go on a mission, you go as voluntary, correct? Yeah, it's voluntary. And so voluntary you service. don't receive money, you go from your money. Well, not with my money. I receive for I living for help. Okay. I receive, yeah, but it is the money of the church, not this okay. my money. I Did don't you have see salary? But the the you receive first, help. I don't know how to say. It. Yeah, I receive help. Okay, very interesting. Okay, good. So to go to a a mission, you need to make a request, and randomly they tell you go there. Interesting, nice. All right. Wendy Goches, hi. Hi. Wendy, if I want to go to the United States, what do I need to do first? Basically, what do I need to do? You need to apply for a visa in the Apply. Embassy. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. What about if I want to go to interview? Okay. What about if I want to go to Honduras? Just go to Honduras. Just you need to pre, pre, show the your do, do it, your ID. Your ID, very good. All right. Yeah. So to go to Honduras, I just need to show my ID. Yes. And um it's Honduras, Nicaragua, El Salvador, and Guatemala, right? Yes. In what about Central to go, America? What about to go to Costa Rica? Oh, and Miguel Antonio. You, you need <laughs> you need visa for uh, go Costa Rica and Nicaragua. You need a 
a special permit. Permit, really? Really? Yeah, you need for Nicaragua. Yep, for Nicaragua. You need mm -hmm. uh, doing a request for, uh, 50 years uh, later, after. Before. Before, thank you. Before. 50 years, yeah. I will be dead. <laughs> years uh, or days? Yeah. I went Wait. to days, Nicaragua days. in August, and uh, we need only our ID and uh, the vaccine target. The vaccine. Oh, the, the vaccine. Vaccine, the vaccine target. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I remember it's the C4. C4 is four countries of Central America, right? Yeah. It's a cuatro. Yeah. But to go I don't know. I, I don't know why the uh, Nicaragua have the different uh, rules. Maybe for... because of, of the of the diff polit polit. Uh, the, the, yes, the the, the 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 governments they don't like each other. What about Costa Rica? To to go to Costa Rica, you need a passport. Yeah, you need a passport. Or a visa. No, only passport. No, visa. No. If you go for uh, three months. Uh, but if you go for more time, you need tramitate a visa. Okay. That's new uh, for me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. Interesting. But very good. You see, this is how you, you say infinitives. To, the verb, and then the complement, the purpose, yes? It's like Jacqueline, she said, to make an omelet, you need eggs and vegetables and hams. Wendy, she helped us. She says to go to the United States, you need to do a procedure <laughs> of visas, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, Sandra. Yes, sir. Oh, I have a question for you. Sandra, imagine I have my family. We are eight, 10 people. Let's say eight. eight people. We want to go to the beach. But we will drink, maybe we will drink one, two, three beers. <laughs> not get beers, be, but, be. but not get drunk, no. But the problem is three beers or more is dangerous when you drive. Yes, of course it is. Yes, and dangerous in driving and, uh, of course, it's illegal. So... I remember you say you have a transportation service. Oh, yes. Yes, I have. Yes, I do. I mean. So do you have a transportation service for one day only? For one day? No, maybe three, three days or. No but, no, but my question is, do you have it for one day? If, if let's say the class, we want to go to the beach Friday for one day trip. Yes, of course. We have uh, uh, coasters and, and, and minibuses. Okay. Oh, there you go. So yes. to, co to contact you, we have to call you, correct? Yes, of course. All right. Very good, class. So now you know if you want a family trip, you know, with no driving. <laughs> yes, of course. Um, no, but I, well, sometimes I, I drive. I drive people, you know, from oh. the airport to the, well, the neighborhoods uh, over there, suburbs, I mean, near, near there. Oh, okay. Uh, but, uh, but I don't, but I don't, but I don't, uh, don't drive a, a minibus, only, only my, my own car. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, no, but that's good to know because, you know, like, I remember one time my uncle came. Yes. And the whole family, we went to the Cameron and, and oh. we were like 25 people. No, yes, we needed two micro buses or something. And we didn't know where to call. Oh my. Yeah. But, but I have friends that ha they have uh, buses. Long oh, yeah. buses. Oh. Yes. That was a crazy vacation, I remember. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, class. Uh, thank you very much. So remember that that's what you need. Como pueden practicar esto desde que ustedes 
se vayan de su casa mañana. To, to open the door of my car, I need to press this button. To turn on the car, I need to turn the key. You know, practice. Háblense ustedes mismos. Everything you do every day. Yes. Talk to yourself, you know. Okay. Cuando salen de su casa para abrir el carro, tienen que quitar la alarma, ¿no? Yeah. Beep, beep. So it says, uh, to... <laughs> wow, people that have a car. <laughs> Los lo que tenemos car. Okay. Los que no. But, but I don't, you don't have a car. Do you have a motorcycle? No. You take the bus? Yep. Okay. Bueno, entonces eso. Para tomar el boom, tengo que levantar, ya? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to take the bus or to go sitting down, I need to leave one hour earlier, or I don't know. Yeah, but the thing is that you can always practice by yourself talking, talk to yourself. Saben que les recomiendo, así aunque no lo crean, es buenísimo. Vean Plaza Sesamo. Really? Yes. Porque Plaza Sésamo es un programa hecho para niños que están aprendiendo a hablar, a comprender y a comprender y vocabulario, que prácticamente es lo que ustedes están haciendo con un idioma nuevo. Entonces, aunque ustedes encuentren, ah, eso es muy de niños, no, no, de verdad, véanlo. Vean un episodio entero. Si lo entendieron todo, boom, muévanse. Un escalón. Pero no vayan a ver South Park, por ejemplo. Oh, family Guy. O oh, Family Guy. Ajá, porque es, es algo bien caliche. Es como ver... Line. Vaya un ejemplo. Si ustedes fueran profesores de español y sus alumnos ya están un poquito más avanzados que el básico, ¿qué les pusieran a ver? Chespirito o la familia Peluche? Chespirito. Chespirito. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Chespirito. Yeah. Y no es cuestión de gusto, sino de que es cuestión de que uno quiere que él entienda la situación. Entonces, Chespirito estaba hecho con eso. Era como era un programa familiar, estaba hecho para que lo entendiera un niño de 10 años y una persona de 90. Ahora, la familia Peluche es lo que les está diciendo al principio de la clase. Eso es cuestión de cultura. Porque hacen, usan palabras caliches, usan ciertas cosas que... Hasta hay cosas que uno no entiende como salvadoreñas porque son como cosas de México, ¿verdad? Entonces, vean Plaza Sésamo. De verdad, se los recomiendo. Es muy bueno. Pero en inglés. Mi favorito es Conde Drácula. Count Drácula. Count Drácula. Es que en inglés, wow. Conde... Ajá, siempre está contando. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Saben que ya, ya, van a, ya quitaron a Cookie Monster. Really? Why? Really? Come galletas. Yes. I don't know. Why? Porque Why? la generación cristal no, sienten no. que le está dando un mal ejemplo a, a contribuir a que los niños coman mal. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> Imagine. Mm -hmm. La, oh, this generation. No, but really, yeah. I recommend it. <laughs> igual, no soportan teachers. Yes, igual lean libros. Por ejemplo, historias que ustedes ya se pueden. La Caperucita Roja, si pueden, leanlo en inglés. Lean Blanca Nieve y los Siete Enanos. ¿Por qué? I'm a storyteller. Oh, that's good. There you go, a storyteller. Mm -hmm. Lean libros de Mickey Mouse. ¿Por qué? Cada página solo contiene dos oraciones, lo más. ¿Y por qué quiero que lean eso? Obviamente van a entender lo que dice la historia. Lo que quiero es que ahí practican su fluidez. Imagínense. You say, Mickey Mouse, walk up. Open the window and look. Beautiful day. Next page. He went to the supermarket and bought two apples. Generalmente, mi teacher. Eso está bien fácil. Sí, está fácil, pero mire cómo lo está leyendo. Yeah. Lo está leyendo bien robotic. Ok, and it's ok. A las cinco páginas ya termina el libro. Voy a empezar. 
y la otra vez va a ser así. Mickey Mouse woke up, he opened the windows and looked at a beautiful day. He, bought, he went to the supermarket and no, bought no, no. two oranges. Aún va un poquito la fluidez, o sea, pero mucho mejor. Termina, pues van a leerlo otra vez y después van a estar. Mickey Mouse woke up in the morning and opened the window and saw it was a beautiful day. He went to the supermarket and he bought two apples. Y ahí van, y así es como ustedes están practicando In, fluidez. Fluency. Y, pero no vayan a leer Harry Potter, man, o Señor de los Anillos, o... Oh. Oh, Come on. <laughs> Código de Da Vinci en inglés. Oh, man. No, mm -hmm. lean, o sea, de verdad, lean cosas que son hechas para niños. Si ven películas, vean Toy Story. The yeah. Try with this. <laughs> the Sea of Monsters. Sea oh, of man. Monsters. And not this a good idea. <laughs> no. Mejor, mejor lean eh, Caperucita Roja, porque a, a, a veces van a ver cosas que les cuesta, pero como ustedes ya se pueden la historia, lo van a ver. Anatomy eso. Gray. Gray Anatomy. Gray's Anatomy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ni le recomiendo leer la Biblia. The Bible, please. No, no le recomiendo leer la Biblia. Para inglés, no. Para uso personal, es, es your decision, pero el, el, el inglés que usa la Biblia. Ya no, se habla. ya no se habla. No. Igual el español tampoco. El, el, el español bíblico ya no se habla. Entonces, I don't recommend for English. Okay. <laughs> to practice English, the Bible is not very good. Yeah. I recommend you to get to a story for children. Sesame Street is very good. I recommend you that. Um, Jose Comelón. He's good too in English. Do you know Jose Comelon? I don't know. Oh, that's está Jose Comelon y yo lo veo más hoy con mi hijo cuando se pone cosas en inglés me quedo. Hey, that's good. Dragon Ball. Jorge el travieso. Dragon Ball. The Simpsons. The Simpsons. Yeah. Teacher, teacher Jose Comelon. Uh, how, how do you say it in English? Um, I forget porque I watch it in Spanish, but oh. it's but put, you can put Jose Comelon in English. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Pero um, what I like what I like about Sesame Street is the situations. Como, hi kids, today we're going to have a picnic, and for the picnic we need to take a picnic basket. We're going to take a sandwich. How do we make a sandwich? You know, pues, ahí está su mentalidad. Oigan eso. Mm -hmm. Porque si su mentalidad está, está para mí, no. Alégrense si están entendiendo todo lo que están diciendo. Mm. Mm -hmm. da, ese es el objetivo. We're going to take a sandwich, one banana, milk. Let's make the sandwich. Let's spread. Y empieza, ahí empieza ahí va el vocabulario. How do we make a sandwich? Oh, look, mayonnaise. We spread mayonnaise. We put ham, tomato. Mm, the sandwich is good. ¿Me entiendes? It's, it's very easy vocabulary and you understand. And if you don't understand, it's good. Watch again. Again, again. Yes. Okay. Thank you, class. Oh, I will yeah. see you tomorrow. Have a very see you good. Tomorrow. Have a good Monday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good, night. Good, night. Good, night. good night, guys.